Uh, now to a real treat for all of us here. Henry Winkler is one of TV and Hollywood's most beloved figures. We all fell in love with him as the Fonz on Happy Days, but there is so much more to his life, which is why he has titled his new book, Being Henry, The Fonz and Beyond. And we are delighted to have Henry join us now to talk a little bit about it. Henry, great to have you on the newscast. Uh, I, you know what? I'm just, uh, I was just texting my wife. Uh, it is so much fun to be here. You know, this book takes us on a journey of your life from your huge success as the Fonz to more recently your winning in enemy for your role in the HBO series Barry. First of all, loved you in Barry, but Thank let me you. begin with you. You were born right here on the Upper West Side, so tell us about your memories growing up here. You went to PS 87, right? I did. So I, I will tell you the great story. So uh, in 2003, I started writing a children's book called uh, uh, Hank Zipser, The World's Greatest Underachiever with uh, Lynn <laughs> Oliver. And I went to PS 87, where I went, where Hank Zipser goes, <laughs> and I read my book to them. I thought this was a great circle. Cut to, uh, like two years ago, uh, I went to the Golden Globes, and I saw Timothy Chalamet there, <laughs> and I went up to him, and I said, oh, you are so great. <laughs> and I, he said, I've got to hug you because I'm a hugger. Right. And I said, well, this is lovely. And he said, you know, when I was in the fourth grade, I went to PS 87, <laughs> and you read Hank Zipser really? to us. <laughs> he was in the audience. Wow, talk about passing it on. I love it. I a lot of pride for us here on the Upper West Side. And that's one of the stories in yep. uh, my memoir, who my son, Max, told me for years to write. And I thought, I, it's too daunting. I couldn't do it. You know, and then, you talk whoop. about writing. What many people don't know is that you suffer from dyslexia. How yes. did a guy, how in the world did a guy with dyslexia not only succeed as an actor, but then write children's books, as you mentioned, in this memoir? You find your way. There's not one way. I, uh, I wrote Being Henry with a wonderful uh, gentleman by the name of James Kaplan. Uh, I, he came to my house uh, twice. Uh, we went to, uh, we, we had lunch and dinner together. Uh, we talked for about 70 hours. He molded all my stories. I then deconstructed them and added what I thought was necessary. And all of a sudden, boom. There it is, and uh, I, it's frightening because it just came out, and I, I hope people enjoy themselves. You know, in terms of the dyslexia, though, you have this great story of how you read to your children with the help of your wife. Can you share that with us? Absolutely. Again, there's not one way to do it. I would read to my children. I would lie in between them, you know, uh, and I would fall asleep before they did. <laughs> and my eyes would get so tired from reading and uh, the, the words would get blurry. So my wife read the story and I, my job was I acted it out. Mm. Yeah, I made them laugh and hopefully uh, being Henry <laughs> will make you laugh. Well, it not only makes me laugh, but it makes it just I'm filled with wonder to watch a story like this. You know, we don't have a lot of time, but I want to get to one last story because sure. you're currently featured in the Netflix documentary Sly, where Stallone tells the story how you came to his aid when he drove out to California to make it in Hollywood. Do you remember that that incident? His car I, broke down on the road. I absolutely do. He called me. He said, hey, uh, my car is broken down on Sunset Boulevard. Uh, and I, so I went to get him uh, all of his belongings, his first wife, Sasha, and they had a bull <laughs> mastiff with the biggest dog I have ever seen in my life. Slobbered so much I needed a snorkel to get in the back seat. I get him into his apartment. He gives me a script. He said, hey, what do you think? I took it to ABC. I gave him the money, we wow. sold it, and then they said to me, we want to change the writer. Oh. He said, Henry, don't let them do this to me. <laughs> I said to ABC, I said, eh, I, I know, here's all the money back, I need the script. <laughs> they said, we don't do that. I said, I know that, wow. but there's always the first time. Isn't that they, amazing? They gave me back the script, I gave it to Sly two years later, Rocky, Rocky. Mm. Academy Award. Unbelievable. I could talk to you all day. Unfortunately, you've got other things to do, so I won't take any more of your time. But we want our audience to please pleasure. get a chance. It's a real pleasure uh, to read Being Henry. And Henry Winkler, thank you for joining us. Good to oh, talk I'm to you. so happy I got to chat with you. It's thank a you. Thanks. Upper West Side Pride we got in the house. Yes, right there. we do. <laughs> Nicest man in Hollywood. Isn't he? You He's hear so guy. many people Such say that. Yeah.